Today I want to show you how I'm going to create this into a symbol that I can use again and again on my projects. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my movie. So let's have a look, quick look. I've got all the information I need for a detail to get started. So what do we do next? We get this information, we select all that information, and we make this into a symbol. And I'm going to again use this corner here as the insertion point for my symbol, because it's going to be a consistent thing that I can use to line up my different symbols. We're going to go up to modify, we're going to create a symbol. Now it's really important that you name the symbols in a way that allows you to find them later. So I'm going to paste in the name that I want. So this is the sill, not the head. So it's got the same name convention. Next mouse click is what I want to use. I'm not going to make it story where it's just 2D. I'm not going to insert it into wall, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to also assign these to the none class because I don't want to put it on a special class. Let's click OK. And now I need to zoom in because it's this corner here I want to be my insertion point. Click and OK. So that is now a detail. And if I need to reuse it, I can go to my insert symbol tool. There it is there. And now I can double click. And so now I can get my detail. So I was going to use my cell. Let's double click on my cell detail. I'm not going to import the hatch. I'm just going to use the one that's already there. And there's my cell. And you can see it's got all the text the right size. And the next thing I want to do is to grab hold of this detail. Double click on it. Again, we're going to do that. Now the, the two line up with that insertion point. So if I hit the Z key or the Z key, touch that point there, hit the G key to make a datum. Then I can escape from that. Now you can see it's easy for me to line these two details up. And then I double click to place it. And there you can see I've got my text. So I got two details. They line up because of the way I've used my insertion points. And I've got the information that I want. So that's one of the strategies with reusing details. Hey, thanks for watching. So if you enjoyed this movie, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified whenever there's a new movie. If you're a member, have a look at the member posts because there's a detailed long movie on this.